Hello everyone, it is Ashwin Rao and I hope you're all doing well. Today's video features a pair that I scored off of the used market from renowned manufacturer Bontoni. Bontoni is renowned and they've been featured as a brand on Hugo Giacome's uh, shoes book, um, The Art of Male Footwear, um, but they kind of get a little bit underappreciated for what they are. Um, and the reason I wanted to talk about this shoe has to do with a number of factors. One, it's a beautiful brand and a beautiful makeup worth discussing, but also it's a discussion today. We're gonna have a little bit about why I loved the used shoe market. So hence the title of this video. Um, and the idea is that I wanted to use this particular pair to talk a little bit about used shoes while I talk about Bontoni as well. So as you can see, this is a beautiful two eyelet derby, meaning that it has, has it has two sets of eyelets. You can see that this is made from a embossed uh, grain leather here. This is typically a leather um, described as Scotch grain leather. The thing about Montoni that's particularly cool is they do incredibly cool patinas. And so this is actually a olive Scotch grain with a darker toe burnishing that doesn't quite come out fully in the video, but this is a really unique patina that Bontoni applied to the Scotch grain leather. And it's part of what attracted me to this particular model. I've actually owned the Carnera before in a rust colored suede leather. And I wanted to try this particular model because I was particularly curious about this leather and the patina work, um, which I thought really stood out. So I was able to get this particular shoe from Lasted Leather. Um, that is a uh, online vendor off of eBay who sells upper end, high end, high quality, typically men's footwear. He was willing to come down about 10 to 15% from where his original listing was after it had not sold. Bontoni pairs are actually relatively easily um, available on eBay if you're looking carefully, although the makeups vary and they've been around for a while, so you're gonna see a variety of different styles. So it's certainly not a makeup for everybody, but for somebody like me who has a relatively large collection of shoes, I've been able to score a number of pairs off of the used market um, in specific or more aggressive makeups that act as nice complements to the shoes that I already have, and this is such a model. So talking about this model, the Carnera model is, as I mentioned, two eyelet derby. This particular model is done with a 270 degree Goodyear welt. You can see here with about a stitch density of seven to eight stitches per inch, really cleanly done. Bontoni is similar to Norman Vallalta, who's come on the scene much more notably in recent years as being a manufacturer of incredibly elaborate and well put together uppers. They have unique designs in terms of how they cut um, and click their leathers, but then they finish off the pairs with a uh, Goodyear welting, which saves on some of the cost. They also have a number of Norwegian welted shoes that I've had as well, um, but they typically do either Norwegian welting, which is actually a little bit more of a, a rough version of the Norwegian welt that I've seen in classic dress shoes, so they're a little bit more of a rugged look or they have a really clean Goodyear welting process, as you can see here. The Carnera has a, as you can see, a almond shaped, slightly asymmetric last um, that fits my foot quite well. This leather has a olive to almost black transition patina. I did apply some high shine to this shoe using pure polish products, which I've recommended for all leather care products. Um, this is a combination of their neutral cream polish that I use to recondition the shoes, and then a little bit of black wax polish and high shine polish to get this shinier, not complete mirror shine, but a shinier um, burnished toe. When I look at the sole here, this is a Vibram gum light sole. You can see here, it's a very light sole. There's a nice uh, job by Bontoni to sink this stitching here so it doesn't wear out the stitching. But you can see that this shoe has barely been worn. I mean, there's very little wear on either the toe or the heel where there's normally some drag. And even in the middle portion of the shoe, you can see that this has been worn very gently. So why do I love the used market? Well, 
you can get shoes such as this beautiful Bontoni for a fraction of the price of what you might want to pay new. And so, and so if you happen upon a pair that fits your style or fits your wardrobe or fits the other shoes you might have, but maybe um, you want to do so at a lower price, I think it's worth looking at the used market because this is a pair that would have probably cost upwards of close to $1,000. Right. Able to get this U for a fraction, probably a quarter of the price of that, around the quarter of the price, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, and um, therefore, I'm getting a great deal for a pair that's barely been worn, inclusive of shoe trees. These normally cost around, I think it's 100 If it's uh, used, usually these come around for 50 So I got that included in my price. Um, and um, it's just a beautiful shoe. Um, you can see this wonderful patterned asymmetric scotch grain kind of a geographic pattern to this um, embossing. And you can see how the uh, patina that was applied um, has a, kind of accentuated the texture of the shoe. It's almost an olive gray brown color is the best way I can describe it with uh, toe burnishing that's almost trending towards a dark black or dark olive. And so beautifully done with a uh, Vibram Gum Light Sole single leather sole, you can see here with a clean heel block. Um, this is a shoe that's meant to be worn in all seasons, hence the gum light rubber sole, which works well in the environment in which I live. And it's barely been worn. You can see very little creasing. You can just see a little bit of roll or slight creases forming on the vamp. So consider used shoes on the market. Consider Bontoni, who have a number of pairs typically available on uh, sites such as eBay, Poshmark, Grailed, um, The Real Real, or similar other used high-end consignment or sale sites. So Bontoni Carnera, giving you a few last pictures of this beautiful makeup, just so you can fully appreciate what I was able to score here. A very cleanly done shoe and a slightly underappreciated brand in this day and age here in 2022, but one that I think stands up to brands such as Gaziano and Gerling, um, Norman Volalta, um, John Lobb, Edward Green, with a little bit more of an aggressive Italian flair for their style. So give Bontoni a look if you have an interest. Look at the used market. You might be able to find yourself a really nice pair. Have a good one. Take care, everybody. Goodbye.